So here's beta flight and there's a problem with updating the firmware. I connect the drone to the computer. I go up here to update firmware. I selected my my flight controller is Flyvu F7 Dual. Select the firmware, OK. Load the firmware online. It is downloading it. And then flash firmware. Contacting bootloader, no response from the bootloader. Programming failed. So how to fix this problem? Let's just close this beta flight and download this Impulse RC driver fixer. You can download that one. Let's search it on the internet. You can download that one from its website, which is this one, impulserc.com. So click on download and Impulse RC driver fixer. Download that one and then run it. By the way, you have to close the browser, Google Chrome, for example. So before running this one, close the browser. This driver fixer is loading. Come on. Checking for updates, searching for flight controller. The flight controller is inserted. The USB cable is plugged in. The drone is plugged in. It's connected to the computer. It's installing the DFU driver. Okay, and after this finishes, if we start beta flight, the program itself will be automatically in DFU mode without pressing any button on the flight controller. So let's wait until this finishes. The disadvantage of this driver fixer is that you have to run it each and every time whenever you want to update the firmware so it's successful and it disappeared automatically. So start beta flight configurator and up here in the corner it's automatically in DFU mode. I haven't done anything and it's DFU. Now go to update firmware. The same settings are already selected, that's flight controller and the latest version. Load the firmware, loaded online firmware, so it was loaded from the last time. And flash firmware, click on that button and it's erasing. It's not showing that message anymore, that red warning. And now it's flashing. So we are flashing the firmware onto the flight controller with the help of this Impulse RC driver fixer that enabled us to enter into DFU mode without pressing the button on the flight controller. So wait until this flashes. Now it's verifying it. This is much quicker. Programming successful. It's green. And now let's go to connect up here. Apply custom defaults. Okay connect once again and now it should connect to the flight controller by the way it had inav before inav configurators firmware come on the following problems the accelerometer is enabled but is not calibrated okay so if i move the drone it is moving in this image also okay so calibrate the accelerometer and the firmware is beta flight 4.2.2 on the flight controller.